So hi everyone, my name is Sylvain Maréchal and I will present you our work entitled Detecting Aberrant Splicing Events in Isolated Patient Samples Using short read RNA-seq with SEMI So in clinical diagnostics, uh, the context is a bit different than in research We are not comparing groups of samples, but we are trying to draw conclusions for each patient independently so the sequencing runs we are analyzing are a bit biased. They are enriched with patients with similar pathologies. So comparing one patient to all other patients of the run is not really an option. We would like also to avoid using external pools of normals because it could lead to batch effects. Uh, another specificity of this context is that uh, we are more interested in sensitivity than specificity because anyway, every finding is uh, validated by a biologist. Sample quality can be also a problem, especially in oncology, where we can have very small samples with high duplication rates. So we are using UMIs, Unix molecular indexes. So to address all of these challenges, we developed SAMI, an UME-aware annotation-based pipeline. So the primary analysis of SAMI is quite simple. It's what you can see on this chart. So the UMIs are handled with UMI tools. The alignment is performed with STAR in full two-pass mode because a gap must be handled with high accuracy and homogeneity. So here we use uh, mapping uh, coordinates from, pa from pass one to deduplicate UMIs and get consensus uh, reads with FG bio. And then these reads are aligned uh, during pass two. All along the uh, pipeline are QCs, quality checks, which are collected uh, and presented with multi-QC. All of this pipeline is uh, written in Nextflow, so it's easy to run in any cluster or cloud uh, service you could use. And all dependencies are uh, integrated in a single IT container, so it can be installed anywhere. For the splicing analysis, uh, uh, we choose to make it junction-based rather than event-based, make sure we don't miss complex uh, events which were not anticipated. So the junctions are collected by STAR and we annotate them with RefSeq. So either they are annotated, so they are present in the annotation, or they are plausible, so they are uh, joining two sites which are known in the annotation, but there is no transcript splicing these two events together, or anchored if only one of the two sites is known, unknown if none of them is known. For each of these junctions, we are collecting various metrics. So the person splicing, the proportion of reads supporting this junction rather than other junctions starting at the same site, the amount of reads supporting the junctions, the recurrence, and so on. And we, with SAMI, we produce gene plots like this one. So here for one sample, uh, uh, in uh, the ENG gene, you can see the three transcripts which are present in the annotations with exon num numbered from the right to the left because it's transcribed on the reverse trend. So here in blue, you have the annotated uh, junctions and the amount of reads we observed. And here at the bottom uh, is uh, everything aberrant we, we de detected and especially this plausible junction, which is actually a skip of exon three supported by 40 reads. So here is the first data set, uh, uh, which is a collaboration with a group of team working on lung cancer. So here the target is very small, 17 KBs only in 21 genes. So it's sequenced on MySeq uh, with 1 million read per cell sample. These are FFP samples, paraffin embedded samples, so the quality is very low, the fragments are very short, and we have a duplication rate or above 90%, so we are using UMIs, of course. With SAMI, we are analyzing 16 samples at a time in nine CPU hours, uh, less than 15 minutes full time. In this project, we included the 13 seracic controls, which are commercial controls, in which there are at least two events of clinical interest, so the skip of exon 14 of MIT and the skip of exon 2 to 7 of EGFR. So if we look at the results, we have a threshold of at least three supporting reads after UMI deduplication and the PSI threshold of 50%, we have uh, more than 95% sensitivity and specificity. 
we only miss one EGFR skip in a sample with very low RNA concentration. Here is the second data set uh, to illustrate uh, SAMI's potential in research as well. So it's a collaboration with the Oncohematological Department. So here the target is quite bigger with 2.4 uh, megabases and more than 1,000 genes. So the sequencing is performed on NextSeq with only 7 million with per, per sample. And uh, analyzing 31 samples at a time, uh, it took uh, 200 CPU, CPU hours uh, or, or around five hours all time. So the samples here are acute myeloid leukemias and myelodysplastic syndromes. We are comparing two groups, six patients muta uh, mutated in SRSF2, which is splicing factor, and 21 patients uh, without any mutation in the splicing factor. So we integrated the, the RMAT stat model in SAMI and to illustrate this, uh, we looked at the result for EZH2, uh, well-known uh, gene in hematology. So in this gene, there are 403 splicing sites with at least uh, 10 reads. And four sites were significant with FDR threshold of 5%. And all of these correspond to the well-known poison exon uh, phenomenon which you can see here actually between exon 8 and exon 9 of EZH2, there is a pseudo exon which is always present and uh, uh, that includes a stop codon. And in patients with SRSF2 mutations, we have a prefer preferential integration of this uh, pseudo exon. So most of EZH2 transcripts are actually uh, inactivated. So in conclusion, a few take-home messages I would like to give you. So we developed SAMI, an explore singularity pipeline that can handle splicing analyzing from fast queue uh, to results and visual representation. So SAMI is annotation based and can achieve high accuracy even when N is one, which is the most common in clinical settings. We also integrated it with Armatstat uh, for use in a research context as well. So we have big plans for SAMI. We are currently working on replacing UMI tools with alignment-free uh, solutions like Calib. And we are also working on gene fusions because right now SAMI can find them, but it needs a bit of tweaking to make it efficiently. So I would like to end thanking all my collaborators in this project and especially Valentin Wisher who is uh, developing SAMI with me, all my colleagues in various departments of uh, Lyon University Hospitals. And uh, here is a link where you can get news about SAMI. And if you want to talk about it, you are very welcome at poster 156, where I will present uh, another of our, of our works about ataxic. Thank you all for your attention.